everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nidhi and you're watching my series on how to become a cabin crew. So today I'm going to talk about uh, an important thing that a few of us have, you, a few of you have been wanting me to address uh, for some time now, which is about passports. So I get a lot of uh, inquiries from all of you asking me that you you do not have a, a valid passport. Uh, can you go? Can you still go for the interview of a cabin crew? Uh, so now uh, let's understand. Uh, in all honesty, if you're applying for an airline. It is definitely a good idea to have a passport. So, so today we're going to be talking about uh, passports. Yes, I know a lot of you have been asking me this question uh, on my Instagram, my Facebook, and my YouTube, uh, asking me uh, if uh, you do not have a passport, uh, should you still go ahead and uh, apply for the job of a cabin crew? Now, let's understand uh, having a passport is uh, one of uh, the requirements uh, for most airlines for you to become uh, their cabin crew. So uh, the two things here. One, even if you do not have a passport, please go ahead and apply for the interview, but at the same time apply for the passport as well. Now uh, getting a passport usually takes uh, any time between three weeks to a month or a little more. So uh, if you do not have the passport and if you uh, go for the interview and if the airline asks you for the passport, you can show them the details of the application process and tell them that you've already applied for a passport and it should be here anytime soon. Uh, so at least they know that you will have a valid passport if they select you to become a cabin crew for their airline. Now, uh, for most international airlines, uh, having a passport is definitely a must because when you're traveling from one country to the other, the only way you'll be able to go past the immigration will be using your passport. So I think everyone understands this very, very clearly that especially for an international airline, you definitely must possess a valid passport. But when you're applying for a local airline, for example, uh, in India, when you're traveling within India itself, uh, by right, actually, you do not need your passport because uh, you can use your ID to basically uh, scan through. Uh, but I, I, I remember reading this uh, article some time back, and I'm going to share the link with you guys, which was posted in the Times of India. And it says that Air India basically now wants all its candidates to possess a valid passport. And there will be some sort of scanning that will be done every time you actually go for the flight. So I'm not sure if that still happens. But regardless of uh, whether uh, you... Uh, can use your ID or not. Uh, for me personally, I think I would advise you to just go ahead and get the passport because even when you go for the interview of local airlines, sometimes they want you to go ahead and bring a copy of your passport with you. Like if you look through this job opening for this particular airline, it clearly states that you need to uh, bring uh, your uh, copy of your passport, the originals uh, of the passport as well, the originals and the photocopy of the passport together with you. So uh, for me personally, my advice definitely would be to go ahead and get a passport done, whether you're applying for a local airline or an international airline. It doesn't take long and it definitely eases the process of you wanting to travel at any point in time because uh, you don't have to think twice. If you have a passport, you can just go ahead and apply for it. Definitely when you're applying for a job of a cabin crew, it is a good idea to have a valid passport and uh, for that very reason apply for your passport now I would say today itself go ahead and do that if you don't have one and uh, do not worry if you do not have a passport at this point in time you can still go ahead and apply for the job uh, for a lot of people uh, who actually give their passports for renewal as well and they ask me this question uh, that can I go for the interview even if I do not have the passport at this point in time the answer again is yes Go for the interview and tell them that uh, what is the status of your passport at this point in time. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the visas because every passport has different rules. A lot of you ask me this question, uh, if I have an Indian passport, will I only be uh, doing Indian flights or will I be put on international routes as well? So uh, for most airlines, how they basically operate, and again, every airline has different rules. Uh, of course, depending upon the passport you have and the languages that you know, they tend to put you on certain routes as well. Uh, but let me just give you an example of what Singapore Airlines does. Uh, regardless of the passport, uh, what they basically do is, and uh, some of the airlines do follow this as well, they uh, put you on a general declaration, which means that uh, your name will be on a GD list. 
which will be given to a particular uh, country when you're traveling to that particular country, which goes to show that you're actually coming into this particular country as a cabin crew and you will be exiting this country as a cabin crew. And for that reason, you actually do not need a visa. But again, depending upon the country that you're going to as well, for example, if you're going to the United States of America, uh, they do not work this way. They want you to have a proper visa. So the airline would actually tell you that they need you to have certain visas and you will have to go ahead and apply for them. But this is something that you will uh, you will figure out along the way when you're with the airline so you don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, and if they want you to have certain visas or requirements, even before you apply for a particular airline, they will definitely let you know. So for example, when you're applying for, for example, when you're applying for Lufthansa, if you go to their page, uh, they have uh, certain uh, restrictions that they've already put in when you're applying from certain part of the country, and uh, you can go ahead and look into that. So uh, yes, they will specify if they need you to have certain visa requirements or passport requirements. But again, uh, on a very, very general note, uh, please go ahead and get a passport because not just to be a cabin crew will definitely help you with your travel plans if you're making any time soon. So I hope this video uh, gives you a little bit of insight on your passport concerns and uh, of course if you do like the video do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell for more updates and do share this information with your friends who are cabin crew aspirants as well and in the meantime uh, stay tuned to watching other videos as well and uh, stay pretty stay handsome and I love you guys. Bye!